What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And today I'm going to talk about the differences between Steam Remote Play, Steam Remote Play Together, and Steam Family Sharing. Because they seem to do very, um, or they seem to have very similar names, but do very different things. So I'm going to just explain the differences between those and show how to set them up. Before we get started, I want to give a quick shout out to Miss Kick 2 s Todd M, and Rob Leslie. Thank you so much for your support. If you want to support my channel, get access to all my stream archives, um, custom emoticons, and shout outs and videos like this. Please click on that join button below. So getting into the tutorial, um, first off, the differences between the three. Uh, if we go into our settings, you will see that we have remote play. So remote play is essentially being able to use your account logged into another device to stream from your main computer to another device like a phone or a less powerful computer that's maybe in your house. Um, and this is a great way to use your gaming computer um, or at least the power of your gaming computer for less powerful devices. Um, but this will not let your friends play your game with you. For that, we need Steam Remote Play together. And you don't need Remote Play enabled to use that. All you have to do is go into your settings here and choose Remote Play together. This will show you all the games that support Remote Play Together. So out of my playlist, 1,341 support it. So quite a few games support this feature. Um, and this will let other players stream the game from your computer to their computer, and they'll see what's going on on the screen. And you can make use of local multiplayer. So local multiplayer will act as if they're sitting in the same room with you. So if you're on a PC... You can only have one keyboard and mouse. This means that if you're using keyboard and mouse, they can't use a keyboard and mouse to control it, or you're going to control the same character. So they need to actually con connect the gamepad, just like you would if you were playing locally, so that you could play on keyboard and mouse, they could play on a gamepad, or you could both play on gamepads, etc. But you'll have to map out player one and player two separately in that way to play with them, but it will work. And then family sharing is a way to share your games with other people within your friends or family circle. And it's it, it only supports a few at a time. So you don't want to add everyone you know and just try and give everyone access to your games. But what this will do is if you're not playing a certain game, then they can essentially install that game to their own computer and borrow it and play the game as if it were theirs. And they'll keep their own game save and all that stuff, but it's essentially just sharing it within your family or close circle. So um, those are the three different types of sharing within Steam. Uh, if you guys have any questions about the three different types, please let me know in the comment section below. If you want um, specific videos on how to set each one of these up or a certain one up, I've made a few already, but if there's something that I haven't explained yet, let me know as well, and I'd be happy to help with that. Uh, thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Peace. What? You've never heard of stream savers? And you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? I made a game too, and it's called Stream Savers. And it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99. And that's a great price.